Bit of a culture and immunology program at Fresno State. So I think this is the Fresno State Winery. Um, I've been working here since the 19 harvest. I'm not from an ag background, so I was really like nervous that everyone would just be like super ingrained in the culture and everything. But it's also really like a diverse uh, group of people. Most of our classes have um, labs, so a lot of the time spent learning here is actually really hands-on. I'm really learning new stuff every day. This is the largest winery on a university campus, and it was the first. So before our students go out into the real world, they've actually made wine for a real winery, a licensed winery. They've made their own product. I didn't even know how to set up a pump and how to clean anything or how to, you know, do anything that went on out there. And then, like, very quickly, when you just immerse yourself, you know, a few months later, I was, like, running bottling days and knowing how to do these operations and, like, the satisfaction of, like, mastering them, getting really good at this stuff. Brenna Pratt is the assistant winemaker here. Not an official title, but it is her title. Very fast learner. A very responsible student, but it's it's really her enthusiasm uh, for her profession that uh, has enabled her to learn. I definitely like learned very quickly how much like work goes into winemaking, and um, you know how much of like a like not only like time commitment but like life commitment, like while you're in it at least that you know you live and breathe this stuff for you know, three months, five months, the whole year, whatever it is. It was a lot easier for me than I thought to like come into this and, you know, feel welcome and not feel just like this outsider from like the city that, you know, doesn't know anything. That we all love the, the work and like we love the process and it's a really cool thing to be able to go into work every day and just really like bond and love the people you work with and learn from them. And like looking back through the experience that I've had here, um, it's pretty crazy just how much I've like grown up and grown like grown into this field. Recently did get accepted for a harvest intern position over in Paso at a winery that I um, have really liked for a long time and admired. It'll be really cool to like take my like practical knowledge from here and kind of like translate it into some like new skills that I'll get there.